BC's Premier is thanking the public for support after announcing he has cancer. John Horgan says a biopsy on a growth in his throat confirmed it was malignant. He says he'll begin radiation treatment in the coming weeks. With me from Victoria is Global's Keith Baldry. Keith, the Premier is being quite forthcoming about the details about his diagnosis. It's not the first time he's had cancer. What more do we know? Yeah, he fought successfully bladder cancer back in 2008, Donna. And again, John Horgan remains very optimistic and upbeat. Put out a short statement today uh, saying, in part, and here's just part of the, the statement from the Premier's office, the pathology confirmed that the growth in my throat was cancerous. My prognosis is good, and I expect to make a full recovery. In the next couple of weeks, I will need to start radiation treatment, which will conclude toward the end of December. He went on to say he intends to continue to chair cabinet meetings. He's going to continue to chair the Council of the Federation which is the group of premiers across the country, and receive briefings on a sort of topic. So it's basically a situation normal as far as he's concerned when it comes to work. He's just not going to be attending in-person cabinet meetings and other meetings. Uh, he'll send Mike Farnworth, the deputy premier, in his place if he needs to, but it's still very much hands-on premier from John Horgan. Okay, and Keith, he chose to go public with the fact he was having a biopsy. You know, he didn't have to tell people that. Why did he decide no. not to keep it private? Well, he joked at first that he went public because Victoria is a small town and it wouldn't take long for word to get out that the premier was seen in a hospital. But he also said it was an opportunity to remind people that if you spot something unusual in your, in your health system, your personal health situation, go get treated. Check it out. Don't uh, ignore lumps and such. He felt a lump in his neck. He got it checked out. It took a while, but they finally got the biopsy done and the results coming back. And now he expects to make a full recovery. So it was a message to everyone to, again, go get checked out. Don't ignore the warning signs because early detection works best in situations such as this. All right, Keith Baldry in Victoria, thank you.